Well, this piece is getting another coat. We're gonna try and bring up the elegance factor just a little bit more. All right, hopefully I can pull this off. Hang on. Howdy, howdy, this is Claire Lawrence. All right, so this piece I did when I did a series of videos with comparing different dirty pour techniques using cups. And I had a single cup, I had one that was a split cup, and twos, threes, and fours. So this was the first one in the series, and each one of them had white and clear channel in it. And so this was just, the, just that, the white and clear in one cup. And if you can see in here, let's zoom in a little bit. There's a slight hint of a gold in there. It's a gold interference, a white, a white pearl and a clear. Well, I'm gonna add to that. So what I've got here is just basically the same thing on a theme, on the, the same theme. I've already got a white mixed up and this is titanium white from Just Resin. Um, and then I've added this guy here, which is a chameleon, um, and it's the Dalmatian Obsession, which is a blue-green. So just a little bit of shimmer to it. And then this guy here, I'm doing this left-handed, bear with me, is a gold interference color. Let me see if I can zoom in. Very pretty, subtle shade, which is not focusing whatsoever, but I think you get the just in the cup because the cup is focused. Let's see, maybe I can go any closer on the cup. Oh, about, about that. Okay. And then this here is a bright... All right, stay put. It's a bright gold again, left-handed. <laughs> Mixing it, which I'm not succeeding. So this color here will stay on the surface and kind of give it a gold foilish look to it in some areas. If I hit it with a little bit of heat, it'll, it'll rise to the surface. So that's what we're gonna do with this guy. And first things first, we gotta cover it with a clear coat and put some colors on it. And I'm just gonna simply tilt it and let it swirl around. And hopefully I'm gonna give this piece a little extra depth. So let's get started. You should see my table, it's a mess. I've been doing alcohol inks, I've been doing resin on it. Half the table is set up for alcohol inks. <laughs> Fortunately, I work on these trays, so whenever a project's done, I can put it up in the uh, uh, curing area or my dust-free zone. So that was a little bit of extra resin I had in my cups there. Whoops, sorry about that. Didn't mean to bump. And then I had some resin still in the cup. It's starting to get a little warm. Let's see, I think I'm going to use all this up. Now the key to this is doing minimum and minimal and minimal is tricky, very tricky indeed. And as you guys notice with me, it's easy to overdo it and get too much. So I keep trying. I do pretty well with the dirty pores, but the minimal stuff, um, yeah, I just keep trying. <laughs> I'll just put it that way. I'll put this over here because it's going to be drippy. So I did a piece recently that I put down on uh I think it's releasing today, which is St. Patty's Day. No, I'm sorry, the day before St. Patty's Day. And it was a piece that it's like I looked at it after it came out of the drying, the um, my drying rack, that it was like, whoops, nope, that ain't gonna work. Um, Cause I had worked with it too much. And I wanted to talk about that a little bit today uh, as far as what actually happened and what, what, what were, went wrong. There we go, I can get the word out. 
went wrong. What went wrong? Whew. You do that would be tough to say. So what happened is, is that it was at the end of its working time. Resin started thickening up and I was applying heat to get it to loosen up. And normally that probably wouldn't be too bad. But the fact is, is I was adding a whole lot of heat and then manipulating it. It's the whole lot of heat and then manipulating it that was my issue. So doing swipes on something that had that much heat to it, yeah. I got in the moment, got excited, and was uh, enjoying playing with the colors. And it was reacting at that point. And I, I knew better. I the swipes were not going to stay because it was so fluid and so um, so warm that the resin just would have kept moving and moving and moving. Okay, I'm going to pause this for now, get this uh, completely tilted out, and I'll be right back. All right, this has got a nice little coat of clear resin on it, and I got my colors ready. And I'm trying to debate on what color I want to put down first. Now this has got a significant amount of white to it. I want it to be wispy. I know some of the white's gonna disappear when it goes over top. So I gotta be mindful of how much I add to it. And I don't wanna to add too terribly much. And probably some of you guys are going, no, don't add any at all. But um, I'm gonna do it, cause I got issues. <laughs> and I can't help myself. Alright, I'm going to put a little bit over here, like a little blob. And you'll get the reasoning in a minute. I'm going to put a couple little tiny blobs here. And then I'll do one here. So not too bad for me, I think. Okay. And then this is the gold interference color. We're just going to put little thin lines everywhere that are going to move with this piece. I almost feel like I need to zoom in. This is like very fine detail work. But it's pretty, it's a pretty luscious color. Let's see, a little bit more. Right in here, since this is an actual color besides white, maybe it'll pick up more over on top of the white and so, you know, white on white kind of thing, it'll actually show up. Okay. And this is our sparkle. This is the chameleon. And I'm gonna miss my spiral intentionally so it picks up. some areas and you know me I don't like the blob look so I'm gonna do something about that all right and this is gold which is a little nerve-wracking and it's not dripping at all there we go it's like once it makes contact it's a lot easier to can you tell it's getting thick As long as I keep this little swirl direction, I'm doing fine. All right, I got everything. Yes, 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 and yes. Okay. So, let's see. What I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna take my finger and smoosh out some of the white. Just a little bit, and maybe I'll go ahead with it. I'm just gonna draw a line with my finger. I'm kind of going in the clear zones. 
and it's going to be dragging some of the colors that I've picked up with my finger. I literally have a dirty finger now. Okay, now I'm going to blow out some of the color just to kind of fan it out a little bit. Go a slight angle. We'll do a couple things. It'll bring the gold up to the surface. And it's also heating up that resin so that I can uh, do my next step. Tilt this a little bit. What it does is it'll have this trail that will kind of leave deposits and extend out some of the feathers in, in the resin. So even I can let this sit for a little bit, the colors will start to sink a little bit. And then when I tilt it, it kind of goes off like that. So it's still connected, but it gives that uh, illusion that it gets longer and longer. So even while I've been talking to you, it's had enough chance to kind of sink a little bit. That area there must be really hot. Let's see, there's a good example right there where it's kind of extended out. Let's see if I can make it come down a little bit. I think I might wait just a little bit longer and then come back and do a little bit more tilting. Okay, I've been staring at this for a while. <laughs> yep, I'm adding. A bit of gold interference, so it'll come down. There we go. Expensive tool right there. <laughs> Top quality stuff there. I just felt like it needed a little bit more there and I didn't want it to didn't want to wait too long so I'm gonna need to let that cool off because that's super hot and if I do any kind of manipulation that's gonna move really fast like this guy did so I need to let it cool off and then I'll tilt okay I just had time to cool off and ironically I'm gonna heat it up but this time I know it's been heated up equally and it's going to move equally too. I might get a couple.
couple of cells in this. It might be, you know, just we're talking a couple small cells. But this technique is not happening because I want, I'm trying to get cells. It just might be bonus stuff. So I'm going to try and see if I can tilt it towards this side. Just start moving it around a little bit, see what happens. And that side there is still hotter. Go figure. All right, well, let's just go with it, see what happens. It's almost folding over onto itself, which is kind of cool and distracting. <laughs> Find my eye looking at this little piece right here. Let's go down this way. Okay, well, I have to do a little bit of cleanup on the inside, but I'm happy it's still wispy. It's still very delicate, and I didn't overdo it with the white, which is, for me, pretty amazing. All right, clean off my finger a little bit. Let me bring in. All right, T. Now, you can do this with any kind of color combination you want. Uh, if you want minimal type of look to it, But here's the magic that I was hoping that would happen. All right, focus. There we go. So you see how those lines are really, really delicate, but they're also attaching and gone in deep. So it gets a really wispy type of a look to it. Almost a cloth-like look. And that's what I was looking for. So it's something really difficult to see on camera from far away but definitely up close or in person, you can see it. And that gold came right up to the surface, not completely, but in some areas. And that's exactly what I was hoping for. And you can see a little bit of those gold shimmer dots as I angle it a little bit. And you can also see the background, so I haven't covered that up. Yay! Focus. There we go. So I think mission accomplished. A nice, elegant piece. Focus. All right, my phone's going to go on timeout and I don't behave. <laughs> All right. So, I appreciate you guys hanging out with me. You guys know what to do. Hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button. Definitely hit the bell to get notified. Next time I put a video up, and check the links in the description below for my Amazon store, which is basically a link smorgasbord for all the supplies I use. Um, I get a tiny bit of commission. We're talking pennies here, but it doesn't change your price at all. So, click away on the links and without any effect to you guys. Um, and it helps support the channel just a little bit and I appreciate every little bit. All right, and also all my colors I use in my resin, I get them from Artist Till Death. And I always put, or at least I try to always put photos in my video, which you probably already seen if you're listening to this part uh, of the colors I use. There you go. Thanks for hanging out with me. Uh, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button. Definitely hit the notification bell to get notified next time I put a video up. 
and check the links in the description below. There's my Amazon store that has all the links of the supplies I use as well as my Etsy store and all the colors I get for my resin, um, I get them from Artist Till Death. Later y'all.